Hey guys, this is Fiend Rain 91, and I'm talking about the PS5. Why? Because, well, at an investor's meeting, the chief financial officer down at Sony, I believe, was talking about a smooth transition from the PS4 to PS5. Now, it seems like IGN and VGA and the other people have led this translation to believe that Sony will wait until Microsoft releases their price for the Xbox One, for the Xbox Series X, before actually releasing this PS5 price, and they will try to make it cheaper than the Xbox Series X. Now, truth be told, I don't really think that implies that. What he said, it just seems like he just wants to make sure that the transition is smooth. But the reason I may think that Sony may be waiting for Microsoft to actually release their price is because they sort of have a history of that. What I mean by that? Well, let's just go with the last generation. PS4 waited to announce its price till after Xbox One did and then was $100 cheaper. Now, I'm not saying that they literally just waited around, let's see, let's see, let's see the price, and then literally was like, okay, drop it by 100 But I'm pretty sure that they had a model that was $4.99 that was selling with the PlayStation I, but they decided to drop it seemingly because they wanted to boost more sales with the $3.99 price point. But then you go even further back to another E3 where the Sega Saturn was announced to be $3.99, I believe. And then I think the president of Sony at the time actually came out and was like $2.99. That's all he said. That's all he had to say. So Sony kind of has a history of waiting for their competitors to release their price and then releasing a cheaper price. So I wouldn't be surprised if Sony is waiting until the Xbox Series X is revealed and the price is revealed before they reveal their own price. But I just seriously doubt they can get it down to $399 this time. Most, I think, would be $449.99 because I think the Xbox Series X is going to be $499.99. So if they want to try to undercut it, it's got to be like $449.99. I really don't think with the amount of power they're packing into these systems, that they can get them to... $399.99 this year. I may be wrong, but what do you guys think? Do you guys think Sony will be able to get a full $100 cheaper than the Xbox Series X? And do you think they're actually doing this strategy? And do you think they're actually employing the strategy where they're just waiting for the Xbox Series X price to be revealed and then they're going to make the PS5 cheaper to try and compete? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. May God bless you all.